Hey, today I wanted to talk about the importance of recording niche games, and I figured, why not, instead of just uh, doing a still image like I normally do, why don't I actually play a niche game? So I'm gonna work on my Owen Spear Lathe Seer New Game Plus file. Now, the reason I'm playing this again is uh, a simple reason. I'm going on vacation on the 25th, and I just need some shit to play. So I figured, uh, why not work on my speedrun file for this? Now, speedruns for this are uh, going to be pretty annoying to set up because your items, or the potions that you make with the alchemy, are uh, you know the main way that you do damage and stuff like that, or control situations. So it takes quite a bit of time to grind that out, and I'm nowhere near done. I'm pretty much done with Gwendolyn, but I need to finish the other characters too. I was probably going to do uh, just Gwendolyn and, Corn and Cornelius, so that might not take too long. Turn down the sound. Turn down the sound and then uh, turn up the volume a little bit. So one thing I see uh, a lot of people say is that, uh, you know, streaming and recording niche games is not worth it. I can't disagree with that more. I think that people uh, need to understand the importance of playing stuff like this. And I think maybe it's gotten a little better in the, uh, the past few years, I'd say, especially with how uh, slow this current generation started. You know, sometimes people come into my stream or my channel or they comment and they say they want me to play uh, more popular stuff to grow my channel and I just always wonder why would I do something like that? You guys aren't here for that. You guys are here to see information and guides on niche games. One thing people fail to understand is that, especially right now, there's a, a little bit more demand for niche games. Simply because, at least before this year, there wasn't really a whole lot of big stuff coming out for quite a while. Also, one thing I've found is when I do guides for niche games, they always, almost always do well, as long as I get them out in a timely manner. So even though it's not going to ever be as big as like a Call of Duty or something, there's always people interested in these kinds of games. And since the community is smaller, there's more of a demand for guides than other stuff because you don't have millions of people doing the same thing like with a bigger game. It really can pay off. Uh, the most recent example for me would be uh, both Tales of Berseria and Tokiden 2, which are the last two like major projects that I did. I obviously got a pretty good reception for those. That's actually what I'm paying for my uh, train ticket with this month, is with the, the revenue I made from, from uh, doing Tokiden. But people just get too stuck on uh, instant gratification. And even I get like that sometimes too, but <laughs> sometimes doing smaller stuff can be more worthwhile. Uh, this boss is going to tank the frame rate. I apologize in advance. Should probably make some uh, blaze potions. So this is where a lot of your uh, your major damage comes from on bosses is these potions. Uh, Killer Cloud does a lot of damage over time. If it's a big boss that's stationary that can't be juggled, 
then the Whirlwind does a lot of damage to them, too. So if you play niche games and you feel like it's not worth it, it definitely is. Uh, you just have to put more of an emphasis on guides. I think for niche games, people are a lot less interested in seeing raw gameplay than they are seeing guides because there's obviously a lot less uh, you know, people interested in the games. But then you have to kind of factor in how many people actually make guides for anything to begin with. A much lower percentage. So guides tend to be in high demand. Like, for instance, I looked into uh, Earth's Dawn. I was thinking of actually getting that today. There's some extra cash that I have on PayPal for my ad revenue. And I can't find any guides on it anywhere, let alone any high-level gameplay. So I would be pretty much going into it blind. I don't really know anybody who's played it either. So if I did get that game, uh, then you guys would probably see guides for it. And obviously, for a game like that, it would not really... Uh, benefit me financially, but it's nice to kind of uh, share the wealth, so to speak. Oh, that's the boss is annoying. game definitely has some really obnoxious bosses that sometimes after you play through the game at least once you get towards the end of your first playthrough, you start to realize that you can change the difficulty at any time, so you just put it on easy. At least this boss gives a lot of uh, bosons, so you can use it to level up pretty quickly. 
I think this is actually one of the best bosses to uh, farm Fozons on. Time I've become one of the more well-known people for niche action games and things like that. Definitely has not made me rich, but at the same time, like instantly switching over to something more popular would not like instantly fix things. And I think people get too uh, too stuck on that idea. It's better to do what you actually enjoy and get better at that. And, you know, educate people in that community than it is to just chase something because it's got more people interested. Honestly, if I played like an esports game or a MOBA or something, like nobody would watch because I'm not good at it. <laughs> and I don't, I definitely do not have any passion for those games like I do with stuff like this. I'm not really benefit anybody, especially myself or you guys, to really uh, do that stuff. So I tend to focus on things I actually have more experience with. It's definitely the road less traveled, but it's definitely, uh, it's worked for me, at least a little bit. I feel like this game is kind of forgotten. It came out around the time that uh, the big AAA releases finally started to start coming out for current gen consoles. Definitely one of my favorite games of last year. The complaints about it being repetitive are definitely true. Uh, you do fight some bosses in this game you just can't stand to fight, but the game will make you fight them like 10 times over one playthrough. It does get a little excessive, but I think in a portable setting this game's great. I've played probably like more than half of this game away from home. And you can see from me playing right now that it's actually uh, I think the Vita version is the definitive version because since the game is repetitive by nature, having it available in a portable setting is actually pretty nice because you can play it in short spurts. I'm not quite sure why I get so much hate. <laughs> you play this on the Vita, you only play for 10-20 minutes at a time. It's actually a really nice game.
Yeah, they definitely improved this game over the original. I think I got maybe like 10-20 minutes into the original before dropping it. And I've played this game for about close to 60 hours now, I think 50-60 hours. fight. Cornelius has some pretty nice uh, crowd control, you just kind of have to get used to his moveset. He's not as easy to use as Gwendolyn, but once you get some control over him, he does pretty good damage. I want to see my stats. I have two of the vampire rings on, which gives me 50% uh, extra damage taken and dealt and then 3% of your damage dealt is recovered as HP. So with him, with how much he can hit, you know, multiple times, you actually heal back a lot of your damage. I don't know if I'm crazy enough to put three of them on when I get the option, but two seems to work pretty well. Sometimes I've covered smaller games and done guides for them and actually gotten a pretty decent response, which is something I never really expect to happen, but it does sometimes, and it's uh, it's nice to see people interested in things that, you know, aren't necessarily spoon-fed to them through marketing. <laughs> there are some really great games coming out that don't get much attention. I like to try to cover them as much as possible. Alright, hopefully this is a good distance. There we go. There's a new piece of gear. Oh, my God. 
I just not want to get juggled today. I'm gonna have to cut it short soon. After this fight here, my battery's running low. I played quite a bit while I was out today. So this will be the end of the video here. But I just wanted to encourage people to, uh, you know, play what you actually like. Don't just play what's popular unless you're into whatever's popular. If I can get almost 10 million views playing stuff like this and even smaller niche games, then, you know, you can get by with anything. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this game is how random the enemy staggering is. You still get the guaranteed stagger when they reach the end of a health bar. But on some enemies you don't really get that luxury, so it's still largely random. And you can actually start a combo on them or not. Ah, uh, he got mis misaligned there. So I hope this motivates some people to continue. Uh, it definitely is a grind playing this stuff, but I guarantee you that people do appreciate stuff like this. I wouldn't still be doing this if I if I didn't know that it was helping out uh, all these communities. You know, a big game comes out and there's a million achievement guides and walkthroughs and reviews and stuff, but for stuff like this, sometimes the resources and the people who can actually create those resources are stretched really thin between other projects. So that's why I, uh, I dedicate myself to stuff like this, even though it doesn't always pay off. Like this game in particular, you know, I paid for this and uh, I didn't really make that much for it. A lot of that is my fault because I uh, didn't... A, I didn't get the Japanese version, I didn't make guides then. And B, because I played most of this away from home, which is also my fault. That's not anyone's fault but mine, but I still enjoyed the game and I was still able to make a couple guides for it, so... You know, not every game you play is going to be a, a success. Uh, sometimes you have to cut your losses, but if you're passionate about a game 
and you're able to get to the point where you can educate others, you should definitely give it a shot. You never know what might happen. Like, I wasn't expecting to get so much of a uh, reception over Berseria and Tokiden 2, it ended up working out for me. I ended up, you know, I basically made my, my uh, you know, my investment back with those games. And it doesn't always happen. A lot of the, uh, the indie stuff that I do does not really... I don't get my returns back unless it's a really cheap game, but sometimes people just like to know what other games there are out there that are up their alley that you know aren't as big of an investment, be it in time or money. And that's kind of what I uh, dedicate myself to. Stuff like the Dishwasher, Red Obsidian Remnant, 20XX, a lot of the other smaller games that I've covered recently. You know, I don't really expect to to get you know become a millionaire over them. It's kind of more just you know, hey, I like this game and. Maybe I can sell a couple extra copies. That makes me feel good too. I know, you know, indie developers struggle as much as I do, if not even more. It's incredibly stressful. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty whether you know you'll make any money back at all. I, I definitely deal with that stuff too. So I like to help them out, and you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it does pay off. You know, I did get a, a free code for Dishwasher Vampire Smile today, even though I paid for it. I was, thought it was pretty flattered that they. Uh, accepted that offer. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that key, whether I just return it to them or give it out or something like that. But you know, it, it does pay off. It just takes more time. The road less traveled is always uh, more difficult in some ways, but some in some ways it can also be more rewarding. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save here, and I'll record the final boss of uh, Cornelius's uh, NG Plus run once I charge my Vita. Anyway, catch you guys later. Hope this uh, encourages some people to keep going. Peace.